Hey yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Tellin. We are back with another episode of Televisions. Man, I am so excited for this episode. Yo, I got one of my good friends, Nadia. I work with her at one of my jobs, man. And she's just a dope muse and I've never worked with her. We've always talked about it, man, but she finna take a trip. So I gotta get her in with the shoot before she roll, man. So I'll be shooting her on the Mamiya RB67. Today I'm gonna be testing out some new different film. It's gonna be some Fuji film. It is 120-408. I shot 400 iris on Fujifilm and 200 on, and 800 on the 35 millimeter, but I never shot it actually on 120, so this is gonna be some interesting stuff, man. Make sure y'all check out this mood board as well. I got some dope, real nice portraits for her. It's very much um, exaggerating on her dramaticism, just as her. As long as I've known her, I know she has a lot of energy. And that's one thing I really enjoy about her because this is part of her personality. And she's also a Pisces too, so she's very fluid, man. Dope water sign and very good with um, evoking their emotions. So I'm excited, man. Like I said, this is something that I've really been waiting on. It's going to be more so of a one light setup. Uh, I'm going to be doing it on the natural light side at the studio. We're going to be shooting at Camp Curve Studios, my second home. If you guys are enjoying the television series, make sure y'all drop below in the comments. Let me know, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other things y'all should do and help me up my game as well. You feel me? Without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. So you know we gotta get our film right, man. So we got our Pro 400H Fuji film. Gotta get us right, man. I'm finna throw this film in the slot. Wrap it around the back. Go ahead and get it in that slit, get it winded. And we good as new. Right here, I was going for a one light setup, like I was saying before. So I wanted to move that one light from the right out the way. I got the main light right in the middle. I got it on the big soft box with a reflector at the bottom. So you see me and my boy Groove, we was doing our thing, get some test shots in and trying to see what works, right? Yo, then uh, he suggested because dude out. is a dope lighting enthusiast, man. So he's like, hey man, you should just try getting a clamp show. So I'm like, you know what, that won't be a bad idea. So that's exactly what I went and did. Got me a tripod with it as well. Threw that right on top, you feel me? <laughs> Threw that right on top so I can have the natural light kind of hitting her from the side and it'll also reflect off the reflector with also the one light setup and on top you know what i'm saying we gotta get our vibes <laughs> you feel me after that i want to make sure that light was off and i just wanted to make sure it was looking the desired way i wanted to look after we got it right threw my shorty nadia in there and this is what we get do that and look out towards the window yeah one two oh yeah these gonna be hard i just bought a mint <laughs> filter for my lens so it's definitely gonna evoke on that dreamy feel and that dreamy look. I was really focusing on personality, who was really looking at portraits. Yep, yeah, let me see you put your hands in your hair. Like, you can even, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I love this. One, actually close that mouth, I like this. Now look at me, give me like a, uh, yeah. One, two. I like showing my models how I want them to pose, so I'll do it in different manners, um, but more so I try to get them to really just inject their personality in each sort of pose they're going for or they look into evoke. So I'll make sure I put an emphasis on that. And also throughout the shoot, I always make sure that, you know, we're looking back at the mood board, making sure we're getting the shots that we want in the vibes that we're looking for and what we talked about even prior to the shoot just so we could stay on the same page and tell that story. These is um, the last few portraits that we were shooting up. So on these, these was pretty dope because she had used uh, her necklace and also her ring and put it in her mouth because it was some gold jewelry. And she was playing with that and using the jewelry as a subject, which is pretty dope. Cause she already has a unique face and the jewelry being unique pieces, it made it even stood out even more. This is actually my second studio shoot with the Mamiya RB67. I did one shooting my twins' graduation photos. I did some black and whites on it, and it came out pretty cool. Like, but it wasn't all what I desired. Um, I got like a couple of good photos back, but most of them were either not shown 
or uh, they were blurry. So now we maneuvering towards the floor. So I was wanting to really get some versatility on this. She has some nice art on her and she got some dope rings and I had groove on the left. He got a reflector and uh, I had him shine that natural light from her left side. I really enjoy uh, this shot as well. This gave a lot of personality. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tell, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in in today's behind the scenes. I got the homie right here, man. We cooked up some dope heat. I'm gonna let her give her her Instagram to y'all and everything so y'all can basically check out all her socials and keep in contact with her and see what she got going. Go ahead. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Nadia. You can follow me on Instagram at Nadia the Goat. N-A-D-I-A-T-H-A, Goat. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all check out next week's video that's coming out. And make sure y'all showing love on Instagram, man, to the post. And without further ado, man, we out here, yo. Peace. So, you know I can't leave y'all without y'all seeing the actual work, man. So, within this whole realm, man, I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. I got the film back. And I got it, and I was like, ah, you know, it's, it's pretty smooth. But I really want to freak these, you know what I'm saying? So, I threw these on in Photoshop and these are what i got so let me know what y'all think drop in the comments below let me know what y'all think man again i appreciate y'all for tuning in without further ado yo we are out peace